So today I'm going to show you guys how to do the light burst transition in Vegas Pro 11 and you can also do this in uh, Pro 8, 9, and 10. So before we get started, I want to give you two tips on uh, how to make this effect look better in your videos. Now the first thing is that you should already have a color correction applied to your video. Now the color correction has to be really bright and the highs of the video has to be really bright like this uh, because we're going to be using this to actually create the uh, transition. Next you want to have two clips you're going to transition to and they should both have the same color correction and for best results you want to make sure that those clips uh, have somewhere of a, a video of a sky or a portion of the sky showing like this one. All right. Now I have these two clips here and I want to make sure that they're right next to each other. And we're going to go ahead and create a new video track and then go into our media generators and get the uh, elliptical white to black or the elliptical transparent to black. And this effect is going to last around one second to about uh, one and a half second long. So 2.15 the middle of the transition is going to be three seconds so I'm probably gonna make it about two seconds long and just gonna delete all these parts so the first part we're gonna do right now is make a sort of a null light factory slash uh, optical flare type of light in Vegas Pro 11 and this is similar to one of my older tutorials and if you want to go watch that it's called uh, Sony Vegas Pro 11 No Light Factory tutorial and all you do is go into your generated media and select number one and we're gonna select the color of our sky it's kind of orange right here that's exactly the same color we want to make our middle color and for the outside border let's click number two we're gonna go ahead and set the alpha matte all the way to zero percent now we're gonna get this two and click it and drag it in so that uh, when you move this around using the crop option we're not gonna see any of the uh, borders of the media generator. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few minutes. Alright, so now that we got that done, we're going to go ahead and go into our event pan crop. And we're going to go to the middle of the transition, which is right when these two clips, these two video clips, are connecting. And you want to make sure you have your scene cursor selected. Now we're going to go ahead and create a new keyframe. And we're going to position this where our sky is. And the sky is supposed to be the brightest portion of the video. And we're going to zoom in a little bit on to our actual media generator. Now as you can see it doesn't look that good that's because we need to set the compositing mode of the media generator to add and there you go it blends in with the light now that we got that done we're gonna hold on uh, when you're adjusting the light of the media generator you want to make sure that you delete the very first keyframe and then move this keyframe that we made in the middle of the video all the way to the first frame and we're going to make a keyframe in the middle of the transition and then we're going to go to the end of our media generator in the crop option and make another keyframe now for the middle one we're going to zoom in on this so that it takes up uh, a lot of space in the video and in order to do that you want to make sure 
this little icon is unselected so that way when you zoom in you're not gonna uh, zoom in with while maintaining a aspect ratio so we're gonna get the bottom middle box and we're gonna drag it in all the way and you want to make sure that you're doing this in the middle keyframe and as you bring it in you're gonna notice that the light is pretty much covering the entire video now for the actual flash effect uh, as you can see if you browse through the effect the lights coming up and then the lights resizing you want to make sure that you don't see any of the two videos while the transition is going on so to cover that up we're going to use the flash transition so just go into your transitions tab and go to flash and we're going to use the hard flash and make sure that your two video clips are connected you can see they're connected by these uh, this little blue arrow and we're going to get the hard flash and drag it right on the connection line and if the transition is connecting the two video clips you'll know by this little icon uh, once you're dragging the transition onto the uh, connecting line so drag it over and drop it and by default if you drop a transition in it's going to be uh, one second long but you want to make sure it's the length of the actual uh, media generator so just adjust these lines according to how long your uh, media generator is now to edit the flash we're gonna go ahead and go into our transition properties so just click this little icon right here and for the tint we're going to make it and orange or if you don't want to do any of that you can apply the yellow flash so that it matches up with the color alright now once you adjust it to the length of the media generator we're gonna go ahead and render it out and this is what you should have right now and that's how you do the light burst transition uh, again if you want to get this type of color correction uh, in Vegas I did this in After Effects but in case you want to do it in Sony Vegas uh, go into your video effects and go to the starburst plugin and apply any one of these two presets and you'll get a similar uh, type of color correction as I have right here so I hope you guys like this tutorial again if it helped you out you would help me out back by liking the video and giving it a comment and also share this video with your friends in case if they want to know how to do this too so again Check me out on Twitter. I'll put a link in the description and I'll see you guys next time.